Hiya, it's uh, day 26. So I had a uh, day off yesterday. I was physically exhausted. So that was a different kind of tired than an excuse kind of tired. Um, and the reason for that is because um, um, I'm spending more time with this, this girl that I've been going on dates with. and It's quite tiring getting to know her. Um, so today we went on probably one of the most bizarre dates I've ever been on in my life. I think like I would never ever go out with a woman that I just met really and, and share food. Um, I have done it in the past and it's never ever worked out well. Um, I would always end up with the woman taking advantage of me. Um, there's, there's a lot of women out there that basically just want to do that and so for that reason I decided that the best thing to do was until I got to know someone better just to not just to make a decision not to do that um, and I think like this is quite a common thing for a lot of men these days um, you try and um, kind of just drill the whole dating process down into something that's quite refined um, but what I wanted to say is like, you know, I think it's important sometimes to break the rules. I think if it, if it feels natural to do it, then I think it's, it's good to break the rules. So that's what I did. I mean, I, we went out for food. Um, we had a meal together and it was great. I really enjoyed it. So when we first meet someone, we all have a tendency to kind of package up all the best traits of ourselves and then kind of project this out onto the person that you've just met to try and give them like a sense of who you are in a very short space of time and I think like this is how like one night stands essentially work like if you're gonna have a one night stand with someone then basically you're sending them out something uh, you're chucking out all the things that they that you want them to see in you and then they're doing the same and then you kind of just make an agreement to go and have a one night stand based on that um, but I think what, what I've learned today is that it's a really terrible way to make a connection and unfortunately though like you know if you're gonna do it in a short space of time like you don't really have a choice you just have to do that if that's the kind of connection that you want, then that's how you have to do it. Um, but I think, like, you, you know, if you if you're gonna do it a different way to get a, a bit of a stronger, deeper connection, then I think it's really important to consciously not go through that process of trying to present these things to people. I think, like, you know, it's much better to try and be more vulnerable and if you can do that then quite quickly you can actually see if they're willing to do that be that too and if they show themselves to be hiding away and trying to just constantly present all the best parts of themselves then I think like that kind of tells you a few things like about the kind of depths of connection you, you can have but then at the same time, it is kind of like, it's not always easy to kind of be vulnerable with somebody and, and to just express the more vulnerable parts of you. Um, so I can understand why we do that. Um, certainly if it's someone you've just met, you kind of need to do it out of necessity in order to make sure that you don't get badly judged. Um, I mean, there's no lesson to hear really to what I'm saying other than I think I personally prefer going through that slightly drawn out process rather than going through the really quick process. I mean at the beginning of this challenge I went on an instant date like day two it was and that happened because I threw out the, the package that I was throwing out you know I, I presented something and it was well received and so we ended up going on an instant date and that's 
that's okay I mean it's not bad but in terms of the kind of connection that I want to have with people that I meet I'm not really sure that I want it to be that way I don't want to have it it's necessary to be on a surface level but that said like I think it's okay to start with that place I don't necessarily think it's a bad place to start from and I don't think it prevents you from having a deep connection in the long run so I don't know if there's, if there's any lessons here for you um, I've had a really long day I've been on like the longest day ever I think I'm gonna go to sleep so I'll see you tomorrow